Well, I've always wanted to see it, but specifically going to see it in theaters opening weekend because I hear it's horrible, which is my favorite thing. Another very, very rainy day. I thought I would come outside and A, enjoy the fresh air because I haven't been able to for the last couple of days. It's always good to get outside. And I do love the rain. You know what's completely wasted on me? This giant, giant lavender plant. Because I hate lavender. I've gotten so big. I love how like sparkly and fresh everything looks when it's raining. I feel like I'm on an English countryside. We were hearing some crazy noises on the roof yesterday. And I think Mott's figured out what it is. That. We think it's like an old antenna that was up there that we obviously didn't see, but it's not attached and was like flinging around. So we gotta get that taken down. My basil plant is very dead. Dang. I have no idea what this guy is because I did not plant this here. What I planted died and then disappeared one day. These are just phenomenal. A very dead and naked fig tree. Our dining room rug arrived. It's time to roll this bad boy out. I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna look great. What do you think? I really like it. You made a great choice. It actually reminds me of the rugs my grandmother used to have in her house in Denver when we were growing up. Like she used to have these beautiful, you know, Persian style rugs. I know this is like a little different, but you know, just these the massive ornate. rugs where like when we were kids, you know, we would play, you know, play around on. And when I see a rug like this, I think about that. And, mm -hmm. and it really reminds me of that in a cool way. I think it's so pretty. There's a unicorn. I will link this one down below. It's from Ruggable. They sent it to me and they also gave a code, which is so nice. A success! I did the um, bathrobe curl, this is the result, but it's not it's the totally honest result because I did fix a few pieces. Mm -hmm. I didn't actually show the swatches of the couches we were looking at from Room and Board. I've been doing a lot of research about what couch we want to get and for the last couple of years pretty much the best reviewed one and the most recommended by experts and interior designers is the Room and Board Metro Sofa. Very cute, lots of different color options, so comfortable and it's naturally a deeper seat but you can make it, you can customize it to have it be even deeper. The issue is is that there were two different sizes we were in between and once we really measured it out the one that I like the look
look of more because it's a two cushion style. It's gonna be too big. We did end up going back to room board because we had gone a couple weeks ago to check these out. Went back again and saw another one that we really like that we like the style of it a little bit more in the size that we would need. Let me show you the colors we were looking at. I don't currently have my tripod set up, so th this is not a great angle, but we're gonna deal with it. I guess we should start with like the most disappointing one because uh, I don't know why that feels like it'll make me feel better. Also, what are we thinking of the hair? I've been trying to master the bathrobe kind of curls. Then I add a couple in with a curling iron. It's kind of cute. This outfit today is kind of very 70s, so I felt like it fit. Anyways, the most disappointing one, this was our top shade, Olive. And if you can tell, that is our TV, which is not on right now, so that's it, just black. That blends right in. Indirect sunlight, this looks Olive. And like, depending on the way the light hits it, but, but, this, but, but the sofa's not gonna be moving. Plus, it is not getting any really direct sunlight for a huge portion of the day. So unfortunately, I just don't think it's gonna work. I think it's just gonna be way too dark in here and it looks almost black, especially at night. It just, you, you can't even tell it's all of it all. Then we have this one. This is a different texture, velvet-ish. It's just a little rougher. And this is in fur. So you can see the difference between those. It's just focusing on my face, that's fine. Still like this one. It does look like it's gonna catch lint and things a lot more than the others. Then we have this shade of green. This is in moss and I'm torn because this is like very green. I don't know, I don't like a jewel tone. I don't want like a rich color like that, but I don't want it to look just kind of shiny and flat, if you know what I mean. And there's certain shades that I think can just look shiny and flat. As of now, I think this is Mats's favorite, but I am just, just not sure. And green was the goal. Like we really, the whole time we were like, we wanna have a nice pretty green couch, green, 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 green. And then we realized we probably should expand that because we're just not sure. The whole thing is it has to go with the fireplace. Then we thought about blue. What I really want is a shade in between these. Really like a shade in between these three. You know? But this looks gray in a lot of lights, which is a hard pass. Rosewood. This looks nice in theory, but it matches way too much with the fireplace and it's just looks too matchy matchy. Then we have this one in cognac. I think this is pretty, I think it complements the fireplace well. Might be a little too similar, but it is very pretty. And finally, Mott's least favorite shade initially, and now he says it's his second shade that he likes the most, is this rose one. I don't know, sometimes I can find like a very light pink like this. Can just look really And I get worried about the lightness and color. So honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> if this is progress, because we certainly have not landed on one. If anything, we've eliminated more than we planned on eliminating. I don't know if we're gonna go back, get more swatches, or look at other places. And then there's some from Interior Define that I really, really like, but people don't like Interior Define and I need to figure out why. I don't know. If anything, I feel like I'm more confused than I was before. Mats is currently playing racquetball with his brother. I wonder if you'll hear that. You know, when you have tinnitus and suddenly you just get this like crazy high pitched ringing in your ears, I always wonder, is that just my perception or is that actually like out loud existing? Editing me? Was it there? So Max is currently playing racquetball with his brother and when he gets back, we're gonna go to the nursery and pick up some new plants because um, the, the ones on the porch did not survive the winter. I'm learning so much and we asked when they'll have like their full stock in and like when the best time to pick up some new plants would be and they were like in the next two weeks. So this weekend and next weekend, we're probably gonna do a big plant buy, an outdoor big plant buy, which I'm excited about. And when it finally stops raining, <laughs> I will be planting those in the planters. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm very ready for spring. I'm very ready for the sun to start setting later. And we are finally going to be doing the big outdoor project, which is removing the water feature that we have so I can put in some planter boxes. I ran out of my magnesium glycinate, so I did not sleep well at all last night. I haven't been sleeping well in general. And then I started getting anxious being like, you're only gonna get three hours of sleep. You're only gonna get four hours of sleep. But despite that, we were still pretty productive this morning. And we finally hung the curtains in the dining room. Here they are. It was only as we started to hang them that we realized we A, don't have an, enough hardware. So we kind of parsed it between uh, the two curtains, but we need more hardware. And also that we actually don't like these specific curtains here. They're cheap from Ikea and we're gonna pick up some new ones, but it's, it's, it's in. And that's all that matters so far. I still have to rearrange the bookcase. I don't feel good. Do I ever? No. Nursery time. Thank you. 
Oh, that's okay, I'm ready. Otherwise, it too high. It's like down five Yeah, I kind of like the stuff that cascades a bit more. here or a bush tree weed vine that's taking over into our garden and we realized it started killing our jasmine so we've been demolishing watch your head sorry <laughs> i'm sweating can you see my pit stains difficult is the jasmine needs somewhere to climb and because this took over the trellis for the jasmine now the jasmine's climbing on it it's proving to be a little bit of a difficulty it's just like winding its way up in. kind of impressive <sighs> hi it finally stopped raining and now it is time to pot these flowers in their pots that's Self-explanatory. My plan is for these gorgeous, my favorite things ever. They're so pretty. My plan is for these to go with these. Nice color scheme to go with those. These little guys and these little guys will go on the porch. The other ones are gonna go in the big white planter. I can see moths working back there, but I don't think you guys can. To refresh your memory, this is what is in this pot right now. It's doing really well, which is why I got a second one, but this one does get more sunshine than the other. And then ironically, this did so well here, did not do well here, but this did? We thought this was a weed because everything in here presumably died. And we came out here yesterday and saw that there was a flower. Moth found it and I screamed because I'm dramatic like that. This one doesn't get as much light because of the bird of paradise right here, but hopefully more of these will thrive in here. And we can also move it if need be. all of the mud on the side that's what happens when it rains and you have the santana winds i always say i'm gonna do gloves and then i never end up doing it i need to put more rocks on top the animals don't get to it but really the key with that is coffee grounds realize that for some reason so i planted these here but now i need to figure out where i'm gonna fit the rest in here or if i'm gonna add some in there too I don't know looking like and I think I'm gonna put the other two in here what an angle okay yeah I made my hair look worse oh I don't think I ever showed you what the final result of pulling all of that menacing stretching reaching crawling creeping lingering lurking plant was yesterday this used to go all the way up to here it is all along here all the way around there like I don't know if you can see the like roots they go far and they go fast and this was not here look how big that trunk is like it's a full-on trunk and it's oh yeah oh god it's all the way up above us how did i not notice that yeah all the way that's insanity oh and it's making the trellis dip a little sick i love it as I was in the living room, I looked at the window and I saw that it had gotten a lot farther than I thought. So it is like tangles up in there as well. And what I could see from the living room window, all the way from back there, all the way to here. No, it was never planted here. It just spreads. Again. Oh my God, I think an neighbor just saw me talking to my camera. 
I wish you could have seen me just like trying to bang the record button with my not touchless gardening gloves because that would be useless. We'll need to like dig it out from the roof, but whatever I can get. Okay, apparently not that one. Oh my god, have a learned. I think we should try one of these easier. <laughs> Good God! Oh my God. Hang on, I have a thing where your tailbone just goes totally numb, but then your legs feel like they're going to give up when you do. It's just like, cool. Cool. I need you to see how much it looks like I'm making progress. It's coming. I don't know if you can see all those little ropies spreading. I'm going to give up on that one until. Moth has some time because I, I just fear as I yank eventually hit the noggin. Is it insane to say that I think it's grown since yesterday? I got in one of my moods a couple of nights ago where I thought of something that I hadn't thought about in years, a piece of jewelry, and I went on this hunt and looked through all of my jewelry and in doing so naturally got distracted. I found a bunch of my old Tiffany jewelry. I don't wear silver, all of it is silver. I don't have like the most necessarily like positive connotations with all this jewelry. Because I haven't worn it in so long, it's like so, so, so tarnished. Really going through it. I spent a long time trying to clean it with this and it does work. I looked up some ways to clean it fully and it doesn't say that this is the safest one. It involves toothpaste, but this one's not a grainy toothpaste and we don't have tinfoil and I don't wanna wait. These are the befores. My hands are totally clean. It says rub a little bit of toothpaste and then put it in warm water, but just to kind of massage it in. See the back, so dirty. Oh, it does kind of just look like it's coming off though. It's pretty impressive. You can even see like the dark gunk on my hands. It's like the crevices are gonna be hard. I did read you could bring it to Tiffany's, but I don't know that I care that much. Who knows if I'll even try wearing them or if I'll just sell them or keep them if, if I have a kid or niece or nephew who wants them. And then maybe we try the microfiber cloth. God, it is, this is all so wet. Oh, that's not that bad. That's kind of impressive. Could probably use like a second scrub down. That looks good so far. Tiffany was like such a wealth status in my middle school. I grew up in a very, very, very affluent area, Marin County. And I always say like, I grew up in Marin without Marin money. Similarly to Uggs and uh, Lululemon leggings, <laughs> those were all things that by the time I had made enough money to, to buy those, like those wealth symbols, those like statuses, it, the trends were already over. I don't know, I've got like such odd feelings about this stuff. Pretty sure my high school boyfriend got me these earrings too. I think. I'll keep cleaning these and show you when they're done. They look like pretty good. Like what a difference. You start to see it disappear, like the tarnishing. This one really hasn't seen the light of day in forever because it's very Kappa, my sorority themed. You know, if you know, you know. Wow. Wow. We are headed to the rheumatologist. Don't mind me just crying in the car. I'm like just mad at myself because I've had a lot of just like <laughs> shitty, unhelpful doctors. Everyone has spoken so highly about like a rheumatologist specifically and how helpful it could be. And it was just like, have you ever thought of meditating? <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, it looks like you have a lot of markers of EDS, but like there's nothing to do about that. So whatever. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. And then I was like, you probably just have fibromyalgia. And I'm like, I don't even think I need most of these symptoms. I like just regret writing that I like have anxiety on the paper. Cause he's just like, every time you do that, they're just like, if you write down or you acknowledge that you have anxiety, then it's just anxiety. And he's like, what about going to a pool and just like floating for a bit? I'm like, for what? It's like, and I like get that like awesome, it's not something autoimmune. Like I didn't think it was, but like the fact that two different doctors thought I had EDS and specifically wanted me to go to a rheumatologist for that. And then for him to just kind of be like, whatever. Like you literally printed out something being like, don't be so hard on yourself. Nobody's perfect. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I also suggested 
that maybe I download the call map. You could tell someone like all the things that you're dealing with or whatever and they just like see or hear one thing. And then they go, oh, it's all this. And then they completely ignore it. You should exercise. But when I was like, yeah, so like that's actually like the opposite of PEM and like what you're supposed to do. And he's like, what's that? And I was like, post like, your normal And he's like, oh, I'm not familiar. I'm like, $90 for the appointment. $10 for parking. <laughs> and then of course he ended it with like, I'm not a fan of Adderall. So I would get off that. And like, how am I supposed to function? And he's like, I just think you'd manage it a lot better without medication. And I'm like, sir, I did not manage it whatsoever without medication. Wasn't medicated until my 20s. You can't mindfulness this shit away. Oh my god, why is it taking me this way? You want me to leave the left on this? It's fucking insane. It's just a fucking waste of time. 45 minutes in the car each way. It's just like bullshit. And I feel like it's my own fault for like getting my hopes up and getting excited for like a doctor's appointment to be productive. There's just like nothing more frustrating when like the doctor talks to you or like looks at you or like makes you feel like you're being stupid about something and it's like bitch, i don't know i think i'm actually realizing what this is all connected to like why this is like the route that he took and it like just dawned on me that he keeps just like talking about trauma and then i'm realizing in like the printout he gave me a suggestion for like books about parents and trauma and like because he asked me about like my medical history and I was like I'm not entirely sure about it on both sides like I have some things that I remember but like I don't have much of um a relationship and that was like this my anxiety and trauma that's that's her what's your you weren't going I was like what's your exercise routine and I'm like oh I don't work out work out I'm have ADHD so I'm like very active throughout the day like I I'm, I can't sit still like I'm walking around doing stuff well no I, I I can obviously tell that you know you're not sedentary like looking at me and I'm like so would you say that to someone else no I don't buy it I think you are sedentary because like I'm not but also you can look like me and be sedentary like most women used to the whole like oh it's hysteria it's anxiety it's just mental health it's all in your head i'm only getting a taste of the exercise that's the that's the problem and the solution i'm only getting a taste of that in uh, recent years because i'm a thin person it makes me rage for everyone who's not fit who has to hear that and deal with that I was just trying like so hard not to cry in the office. I'm just gonna cry and drive home and then pull myself together and then tell Mods and then probably try cry again. Not helpful. <laughs> issue with a bug but we're moving past it how loud did i scream you didn't scream it was... oh no oh no wait those ones are bigger than these ones oh my god you're kidding just fits i hate my life <laughs> okay. it's gonna stop now <laughs> 